Compare the size of World War II soldiers with soldiers of today. What is the limit of that growth? Uh, I, I think it's that they're getting bigger. I think. Well, I had with, some very small green plastic. Is that not what we're talking about? <laughs> The, the question can, continues. Oh, does it now? <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, except it's got a lot of dashes and strange punctuation. So um, compare the size of World War II soldiers versus the soldiers of today. Um, what is the limit of that growth? With increasing access to food, could giants have evolved this way? Did they rule the smalls? Ah. Um, well, welcome to Allometry. So yeah. yeah, okay. So the issue is this: there's certain things that you can scale up indefinitely, and then there are other things that you can't. And uh, let me see if I can recover my go-to example here. Um, the pie is uh, isometric. Yes. Pie does not vary. Pi. Pi yes. does not vary. Yeah. <laughs> right because pie gets frankly less appealing pie gets less appealing the bigger it it's gets. it's harder to cook because you cook the outside too much and it's, the inside hasn't begun yeah it's like the cooking it's harder to eat well there's that i mean i mean pie is appealing because it's you know triangular you can kind of man <laughs> <laughs> what i don't know peeling pie just it doesn't seem like okay it's spelled differently yeah i guess it would be yeah. um the point is the uh, uh, here's the example I'm looking for. The surface to volume ratio of a sphere versus the diameter to circumference ratio of a circle. The diameter to circumference ratio of a circle is invariant. Doesn't matter how big the circle is. The, Therefore, isometric. Right. The surface to volume ratio of a sphere varies radically as the sphere grows, the surface to volume ratio goes down, which is why. Which is an example of allometry. Allometry, which is why. Allometric change. You, why the cells in a mouse are approximately the same size as the cells in a whale, is that there's an upper limit to how big you can make a cell and get enough oxygen into it. And so that limit is found by all creatures, and our cells are the same size. So anyway, the point is the allometric relationships in the structure of a person mean that you can't scale it up indefinitely. So you neither see moused, moused, it's not a word, mouse-sized elephants nor elephant-sized mice. And this, and this isn't a question of, well, back in the day there were giant mice, like, like there were giant sloths, no. Right, like m mice um, with their very thin long bones um, aren't wouldn't be able to withstand the effects of gravity um, at if they were the size of an elephant, and so elephants um, don't have a great deal of like flexibility because what they have is these like giant trunk-like long bones that they that they are on like this, um, and that don't offer much, you know, if, if someone takes a chop at them parallel to the ground, uh, those bones might well break, but they have tremendous um, strength in the, in, the, in the direction that's parallel to the bone. Right. And actually the perfect way to see this is dogs, because we have tried to do everything to them selectively. That's true. And yep. the point is we have gone down in size and stature very effectively with dogs. I mm -hmm. mean, if you think the ancestor is a wolf and a chihuahua or whatever is even smaller than that, we've been very effective at making diminutive dogs. That miniature Dutch spice hound that we saw earlier was amazing. <laughs> yeah, he mm -hmm. was a he was a very flavorful little pup. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, the point is we have we can shrink down a dog from wolf size really well. Not an individual dog. No, 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 no. That wouldn't work. But um, but in terms of going the other direction, we have made some large dogs that are bigger than a wolf, but we haven't gone nearly as far in the up direction as the down direction. Yep. And the dogs that are really large all suffer from these deficiencies because the structure of wolf is not, as you build it up, the gangly, you create, they end up with hip dysplasia. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. You create problems. So anyway, the point is, you can, and, and in fact, hmm, 
hobbits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know. So you asked about soldiers. <clears throat> you get spheres, <laughs> elephants, and hobbits. Yep. That's what you get. Spheres and circles. What's that? Dogs. 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 Oh, sir. Sure. I forgot about that. But that seems more in keeping with soldiers somehow. Yes. Oh, lots of soldiers have dogs. I mean, yeah. they come home to them. And yeah, the and very few. I, I suppose some of them probably have spheres. Very few of them have elephants or uh, hobbits. Many of them have overcome their spheres in order to do the soldier. In order to do the work, yeah, yeah. sure. But the point... Hobbits. <laughs> right. You've only had half a drink. This is it's not, not enough. <laughs> it's the time of day. It's yeah, it's not, been a long it's day. It's not the drink. Yeah. Um. <laughs> hobbits. Right. Homo floresiensis. Exactly. Yes, uh, the Flores Island All right. uh, in Eastern we're gonna, Indonesia. We're going yes? to cut this short, but okay. there are these these um, subfossil human or hominid, like uh, thirty, forty thousand years creatures. Yes, something like that. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the is it thirteen thousand years sticks in my mind, but it may be thirty. Um, but in any case, we've got these subfossil, that is to say, not turned to stone, actual bone remains on the island of Flores. Yeah, I'm, I'm closer to right. In Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And I think the idea was that the population may have lasted until 13. I can't remember what the evidence well, for that Wikipedia was. Well, Wikipedia is a flaming dumpster fire, which wow. of course you would expect it to be if it's a dumpster no, fire. But not flaming. That's why. Steaming dumpster fire of... Anyway, it suggested until 50,000 years ago, at which point um, Homo sapiens arrived. 550. All right. So, but I don't know. If clearly, I, I need I, to and I, re and I should... remember this story better. But the point was, you had a population. People have argued about whether this population was pathological or whatever. There are lots of nonsense arguments. But it is clearly a diminutive uh, race of hominids that lived on Flores Island um, hunting pygmy elephants, in fact. Pygmy That's... stegodon elephants. Yep. And the point is... Uh, they were very likely wiped out by full-size uh, hominids who arrived later, having been dwarfed by their um, presence on Flores. Okay, so the point is: does the um, does the basic premise of your story that bigger humans could wipe out smaller humans stand? Yes, it does. Um, but there is a limit. You can't just scale humans up to wipe out other humans because you make humans worse at being humans as they get above a certain size. Um, so there are limits to that process. And it's more expensive to to be a human and to make a human. And you know, if you live in a place of at all marginal uh, resource capacity, uh, it's going to be harder to maintain a population that has the same number but has larger mass. Yep. Hello. 